Yeah, that's me, guys. I'm unique. All right, I'm done reading the slideshow. Broom closet. Why is it labeled? It's the one door that opens. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Okay. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no <laughs> choice to follow. Wait. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Why is he... This is the first thing he's totally against. And I'm just standing in a broom closet. It was closet. baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, <laughs> he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Sweet F.A. <laughs> you got anything else to are say? You, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around <laughs> doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Because you're talking. Talk some more. Should I actually do you nothing? You do realize there's no choice yeah. or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I never would have thought to mention it. Then why make it an openable door with big letters saying broom closet when no other door opens Maybe in the gate? Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Uh. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend you'll say, Ow! Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. The broom closet ending is my favorite. It sure Stanley is. was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Wow, he probably that was got a call the job for Because of a family connection, that's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Oh, come on now. That's a low blow, my guy. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. Yep. You got to this broom closet, <laughs> explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system yep. and you collapsed on the keyboard. You got me. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Chet, you got my body for when I decompose. <laughs> the person at this computer is dead. <laughs> they have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. <laughs> it's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics mm -hmm. and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, <laughs> I've done that just down to the hallway. <laughs> it's, it's me. It's Plasmax 2.0, guys. The previous one died while examining the broom closet. Ah, second player. It's good to yes. have you on board. I guarantee... You can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Except... You too? <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. <laughs> Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Yeah. Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. <laughs> I'll fungus. just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Was that it? I guess that was it. <laughs> wow. I think that's why you're able to stand in the broom closet, just so he can get mad at you about it. <laughs> okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. 